Wildfires across the West are playing a big part in the poor air quality we're seeing along the Wasatch Front. Right now, the Utah Division of Environmental Quality lists particulate matter as moderate and ozone levels as unhealthy. Fox 13's John Franke has an in-depth look at the impact this pollution has on our health. Maybe you woke up feeling sluggish today or had some chest congestion. Doctors are concerned about those particles in the air, some that can stay in our bodies for months or even longer. Any particle small enough for you to inhale will be a health hazard. It only takes one look outside to see there are lots of particles polluting our air. It's very concerning. It's similar to if we were all smoking a few cigarettes. Dr. Brian Mensch is the director of Physicians for a Healthy Environment. The pollution we're seeing right now, mostly a result of wildfires, can be especially unhealthy. It may in fact be uh, as much as 10 times more toxic to the lungs than the particulate pollution that comes out of a tailpipe or a smokestack. The Utah Division of Air Quality tracks the numbers. Their 1 p.m. update Monday showed just under 28 micrograms of particulate matter per cubic meter of air in Salt Lake County, much higher than normal for this time of year. We'd like to have it down around 12 or 10. Um, during the summer, if without wildfire impact, we're usually single digits. Dr. Mensch explains what that extra stuff in the air does to our bodies. These little tiny particles act like foreign invaders, and they trigger an inf inflammatory process that basically uh, your whole body can react to. That's why air pollution is often blamed as a cause of cancer, but now there is another concern, COVID. This study from the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology links surges in COVID cases to rising levels of air pollution. The kind of white blood cells that might scavenge a bacteria or a virus, they are somewhat disabled. While some things like wildfire smoke from other states is out of our control, Dr. Mensch hopes everyone can take a stand against things that can be controlled in the hope of limiting this health hazard that we breathe every day. There's no safe level of air pollution. So how can we all stay safe? Dr. Mensch suggests staying inside and also investing in an air purifier for your home. A more inexpensive solution is to place a HEPA filter over an indoor fan. In the studio, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah. The Department of Environmental Quality says tracking the impact of Pioneer Day fireworks on our air quality could take weeks, perhaps even months. They say the amount of wildfire smoke in the air is making it more difficult to separate the data than it was during and after the 4th of July and 24th of July.